we're selling the Tacoma and build something new this year. It's cold. on a truck and delivered to its new home in Colorado. I've looked at Forerunners and Land Cruisers and uh, Jeeps. Putting ourselves in another Tacoma is probably where it's gonna be. The cargo, the reliability, it's just a damn tough truck. It's worth something when you sell it. Now all I gotta do is find one. What are we gonna buy? Some bananas? <laughs> Some bananas. <laughs> Some bananas. So apparently we're driving banane. But uh, yeah, the guy that's picking it up and transporting it to Colorado is doing the inspection. And then we're out of here. Come here, buddy. It was a fun truck. I know we're gonna build something else that's gonna be equally as fun. But yeah, a lot of memories, man. That thing's been all over the place. So what are we gonna buy now? Flats. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> We're building a Tacoma. This makes the third Tacoma that I've owned and we're building it from a stock platform. This is a TRD off-road package and uh, it's an automatic. It was pretty important for us to get an automatic this year. Um, it makes it easier for the team to move the truck around and my family can drive it. We're starting from scratch, but as a stock platform, it uh, makes for a great truck and we're looking forward to building it here at OK 4-Wheel Drive. Okay, this is how this build's gonna work. We've got three weekends up at OK Four Wheel Drive. We're gonna install tires, wheels, suspension, front bumper, sliders, skid plates, rear bumper, electrical, dual battery, radio, interior, and a camper. And hopefully by the end, it's gonna look something like this. Can we help you with something? You're all good. Is this a delivery? <laughs> Special delivery. <laughs> All right, we are at OK Four Wheel Drive and we're just getting started. We've got the Tacoma on the rack and the first thing that we're working on is suspension. This is our third set of BPs and we're pretty excited to install them on a brand new truck. We have some BP51 suspension. It's just a game changer as far as suspension. To have race performance suspension without the race maintenance is the key of the BPs. Um, being a bypass shock that's internal so that you can have a manageable coilover size that still fits on most, you know, street vehicles and also having the hard anodized coating so it can hold up to the salt. Like my BPs are about three years old now and they look almost exactly like they did when they were new. Come with me for a walk and you'll see a land of pure imagination and trucks. So we're back here at OK Four Wheel Drive this year. We really enjoyed the build process we had last year with Jason and Gabby's truck. It's just a great area. It's fun. We go out. We have a good time. Um, the food here is amazing. As Jason would say, my truck smells like heaven because it smells of fresh fried french fries. For anything like off-road, it it's, feels like home. It's just being here is just an enjoyable experience. Uh, I love hanging out with Ren. We all love hanging out with Ren. He's just He's the man. It's, it's really uh, a great experience being here, and um, I, I hope we come back you know, for years to come. This 
I believe, pressure regulator was one of Expedition Everland's forerunners. Uh, it went for sale after the first season. Then I believe they had two forerunners. Here it sits without the wrap on it. So we are getting these guys mounted in here. Try to get the front end done here today, at least. How ready are you for beer right now? I'm ready. I think Ren's ready. <laughs> so, um, we will have beer tonight. I can assure you of that. We're at a good stopping point. We got the BP-51s on the front. Um, got a little bit of work to do on the driver's side. We'll get that stuff taken care of in the morning and then move straight into tires, wheels, rear suspension, and maybe by Sunday we'll actually be working on um, the bumpers. Ren's coming here. We need to pack up, get out of here, get something to eat. All right, we're listening to some real big fish and uh, we are really going to dinner and we are really gonna drink some beer tonight. <laughs> so we had plans about telling you the history of Easton and all that and um, you're gonna have to figure it out on your own. We're calling Gabby and he's not picking up the phone. You're on FaceTime, your face is not moving. Hey, you wanna go for a ride with us? <laughs> we're gonna go have a, uh, we're gonna go have Creole, and then uh, we're gonna go drink beer. 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 Yeah, yeah that sounds like a good time. <laughs> Just keep us posted, we missed you today, and I uh, had lots yeah. of fun. It was a pretty interesting day. Awesome, man, awesome. All right, uh, you, uh, guys, you guys take care, have fun. Hey, there's a corn, there's a bag of corn nuts with your name on it, if you come. Are they, are they, are they your corn nuts? They are my corn nuts. <laughs> well, that's, that's the only way I'll eat them, man. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> hey, we better, <laughs> we better we better put your seatbelt on. I don't know if it's safe for you to be riding with us without your seatbelt on. <laughs> All right, man. Good talking to you. And keep me posted. Let me know uh, in the morning. Well, good. All, All right, right, later. Just like that, we are leaving the hotel, and it's going to be a night on the town. <laughs> Soul Brewery. They've been around for a while, but they've never had like a location. This location is probably like nine months old. Yeah. And they're opening uh, a new location in an old 1800 silk mill. Oh, sick. It's pretty rad. Easton's been fun. I'm not expecting us to do that tomorrow night. I'm expecting three to six inches of snow, or maybe four to six, or however that works out. Maybe we'll do some sledding tomorrow night instead. It's feeling kind of cool today. It's a little chilly. I think uh, I'm, exp I'm I'm kind of anticipating higher levels of productivity today. Uh, we're gonna hop in the truck and uh, head on over. So we're wrapping up uh, rear suspension. Then we're gonna be starting to cut bumpers, I think. Let's get to work here and get cracking. And it's supposed to snow. I think they're calling for five to seven inches. I don't know about the seven inches, but it said five. So I just rounded up a couple, because you never know. So real happy with the tires too. These are the Discover ST Max and mounted on these Hutchison bead locks is a pretty, pretty sweet setup. Hey man, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Good. I, th I think it's very important to be involved with this tire mounting process. I don't know if any of the places that I'm gonna ever mount tires at in the future back home or on the road are gonna know how to do this. So I'm gonna have to explain it to them <laughs> or just do it myself. Oh, so we're actually getting it in the tire like yep. that. Now that it's in like that, you can go ahead and turn it. Yeah, that's what the whole fight of this is. Yeah. is just getting that back out of the tire. Make sure this is uniform all the way yeah, around. Make right? it uniform to this surface all the way around. Are you happy with that? I'm happy with that. This just helps this inner ring rest onto the wheel, right? Yeah, it just helps it slide over the barrel. And just give it a nice push. And the trick is to not let it roll. Oh, so not let it have to like, You have to kind of like let pull it into place. Okay. Okay, so now the tall bolts have to align with this these. Guys there, yeah. Yep. So where's a? Here's looks a like there's bolt. a tall bolt here. And these will help just pull it down so we can get the rest of them started. It's 
So these are the 96 series springs. There's a 95, a 96, a 97, and a 98. The 97, 98s are high look springs that you can run into Tacoma if you're running a ton of weight. The nice thing is with these and airbags, we can cheat that up a little bit without having a tough spring in the truck, you know, when the camper's out. Hey, I'm gonna install the reservoir and then I'm gonna install the bottom bolt. You might not have enough thread to start it, Jay. I do. Okay. Yeah, we got a good, cool. good seat there. <laughs> <laughs> So we're getting ready to install a summit bumper here from ARB on the back of this Tacoma. Looks like a pretty straightforward process. So pretty excited about seeing what the final product, product looks like. Okay, it's gonna get ready to come. Okay. Yep. Cool, that's nice. simple enough. And it's snowing, <laughs> finally. So I am trying to separate pieces that will be used on the new bumper. You sure they're bars? I swore that someone I saw had a pipe. I couldn't find somebody better to put a hole in the side <laughs> of the truck. <laughs> We have the cameras kind of put up. We're taking a break here for the night and uh, it's been a long day, a lot of fun. And I don't know if you can really see it outside, but it's snowing. Yeah, we'll be back in the morning. Wow, the Tacoma looks wicked cool in the background. Uh, anyway, long day, lots done. Rear bumper got started, but it's not complete. We'll see you tomorrow. What are you doing? I'm gonna clean my car off. It's snowing like crazy. We got like eight inches of snow while we were eating lunch. I know. Actually, I've been waiting for snow. We've only had one really good snow this year and, and this is really it. <laughs> God, I love snow. I love snow, man. <laughs> Are you heading out or what? Yeah, I'm uh, heading out to Florida. We don't get to leave, we're stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> we're stuck. I, I got the call last minute to go to Florida, so I'm actually flying from Pennsylvania to Florida. I don't have any of my warm weather clothes with yeah. me, so I'm probably just going to buy some clothes on my way to the airport. So go get some french fries to you. Oh, dude, all the french fries. All of them. <laughs> all the french fries. All right, dude. Later, homie. Uh, I can't go. Okay, I can go out a little bit. Okay, now I'm ready. Okay, so we got the Tacoma back here in the garage and we're gonna walk you back and take a look at it. And we're gonna get this thing aligned so we can hop on the road and head back to Virginia. It's been a busy weekend. So we've got the final pieces actually installed in the bumper, um, which were the light brackets. We're gonna hold the corner tabs off and uh, get those painted and color matched to the truck. But it'll be a nice piece once it's all said and done. We're getting the truck aligned. The tires, the wheels, the rear bumper, the suspension have all been installed on the truck. And we're gonna be coming back in a couple weeks to finish out the rest of it. We've been working with Blue Shoving Gear for 
like five years now. I guess this is season five. So I found Matt um, and team shortly after we started MSO. He lives like 15 minutes away and it's a pretty easy hop and a skip to get down here. Um, but we're building some new pieces and uh, we're building some existing product that they actually have and uh, maybe try to experiment with some different fabrics and different colors specific to the Tacoma. Let's go take a look at the truck. Yeah, are you putting something in here? I don't know. It'd be a handy spot for just like kind of basic recovery. <clears throat> this is a sign of a, of a, a quality dad right here. You can tell Cheerios. Cheerios, I dare you to eat it. Do it. Yeah, it's actually got a little frosting on it, maybe? Yeah, a little Honey Nut Cheerio. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. It's like organic Honey Nut Cheerio. Organic Honey Nut Cheerio. <laughs> yeah. oh, sorry. In here, it looks like a bomb went off. You know, if we had, say, two pouches in there, and then we had a little thing that kind of dropped down over top of that that went over the edge, then we could actually put, we could sleeve some stuff in here so you'd have room to put some small, some small things in tire gauge or whatever. What about inside that guy? If we could put a heater on the bottom, it'd be like an oven. It'd be an in-car oven. Put some bacon in here. You'd yeah. be going down the road. Open that sucker up. Bam, the whole truck would smell like bacon. It'd be the best day ever. So, like, we literally start. started talking about this product for the first time today. And we have a whole prototype here, so on paper. We have some really marginal sketches that really good people are going to turn into something. That's really what we have. And that's where the unicorns and smoke and magic wands and dragons and stuff all show up. I can just leave the truck with you guys and um, stop back by in a couple days and pick it up. Yeah. Sound good? Sense. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Good deal. Thank you.